Hey, what's up, guys? Broken Notes, Fan Glory, Celeste. Let's get popping. How y'all doing today? Broken Notes back. Another video doing some of that Celeste. The last time I played Celeste was like the first week I started playing this game. That was when she was free. Now, uh, Samac? Super Evil. Mega Corp. I don't. I don't, I don't know the, the dang name. You know, pre the creators of Anglory, the developers. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much they gave us the hookup, man. Like I pretty much went from like one glory to 20k glory. <laughs> Just those chests was plentiful. So you know, it feels good. It feels really good. I bought Celeste Alpha. And right now I'm just chilling. Right now I got 6k in the bank right now. I'm saving that up. And I got like 800 and something ice. I'm definitely going to save that for the next exclusive exclusive skin that I am interested in. So hey, I came up for that. Now this is the thing of the matchup going against this saw right here. And uh, yeah, I kind of remember this game now. I've been doing a lot of Celeste, but I remember this game specifically how... This is, this is the definition of a bonehead saw that can only... His only motivation of living, his word that he uses that motivates him to live is push. That's all this saw is doing is push. Like when, like when, when I play saw, I don't like this pushing. I, I like to be smart. You know, I like to be smart. Like, usually, what, what kind of saw do you see that actually uses reflex block or something? Like, I, I'm, I, I will say, I don't know if I'm a decent saw, but I at least use reflex block. Against specific heroes, like maybe like a Catherine, a Glaive, an Arden. Like I try to, I try to be smart. But if I can push, I definitely push on the top part so I can at least do a rodeo run away to safety. But I pretty much this saw is such a look. <laughs> this saw is such a bonehead. <laughs> oh my gosh! And and he's free for the week too. Oh, had a few games where um you know people insta lock saw, but also you know I'll be trolling myself. Because right now, I'm, I'm trying to get good with Celeste. I know it's kind of selfish, but pretty much every game, I always put main CP. Every game. It's, it's I know it's selfish as hell, but my goal is I'm trying to get good with get good with Celeste. And I need to practice her and practice her and practice her. So usually when, when people either pick my my hero or either pick that um, pick lane, then I hit him up with Assault. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy how people are so spooked of Saw. Like, I mean, like this. Like, if you pick Saw, and like, well, first of all, if someone they hurt, they you know they they pick their role before you can, and they pick Lane, and you pick a Saw, they will change real quick. They're, they're scared of the Saw. They're scared. They're like, hell no, nah, we're not doing no double double Lane with Saw. Nope. I, I just saw he he's and he's interested. I like. I think he got a buff recently. Pretty much, um, like his his whatever that thing is called, his B or yeah, I think that's his B when he does like the the bullet storm, the bullet storm. Um, they kind of lowered the timer. And, like he about to get bodied. Kappa. <laughs> oh, then that's like Twitch. <laughs> Twitch. Ah. But yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, this saw. I feel like if you can master Saw, that like you can pretty much play any hero in lane. This dude, he is a crazy, he's, a, he's an interesting hero. He's definitely, his DPS is extremely high, but his mobility have to suffer. It had to be a trade-off, a double-edged sword. But if you're really good with Saw, really good, if you're on point with your reflex block with Saw, definitely, you're just, you definitely can hold your own in lane if you can actually just kill it with Saw. I do really, I think uh, the last game I had, I probably went like, what, 7 and 4 maybe? I don't recall, but I think I did rather decent with Saw, but still, I, I'm, I kind of respect, I respect the enemies too much. I respect them too when I play a Saw, I know that Saw, he just, I'm kind of, I kind of get a little scared using Saw, even though, you know, again, high DPS, lack of mobility, and yeah. But besides that, uh, this saw, he's definitely probably gonna be like the last hero I ever buy. If I ever buy him, and if I just feeling selfish as hell that game, 
I would just end up picking him when other people pick Lane. <laughs> I just I have to do this feeling selfish a particular game. But um, I don't, I don't do that on a regular. Cause I know that's kind of effed up and annoying. I'll do it on a regular, but at least when I do it, you know, I don't feed. Like this saw right here, he he's just feeding me right now. Two and zero, five minutes in. I'm just getting fed. This dude is just, he's trash. He just an, he just an easy, just easy glory pretty much. But yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to be smart, trying to make sure that there's no, yeah. So that's what I was looking out for. I was looking out for that taco. You know, I still have a hatred for Taco. I hate Taco so much. I still have a, a burning flame, a burning furnace of hatred for Taco. I hate him so much. He's such a cheesy hero. And he, he's he's like extra annoying and casual because usually it's called casual. So the Rome like never builds or never puts down mines or scout traps on the floor. So I end up getting ganked. And it's like really annoying. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's it's extremely annoying. You can't do nothing about that. Well, you can, but you know it, it gets complicated. It gets really difficult when all your item slots are full for other stuff, and you can't put a scout trap. And putting scout traps putting scout traps down is usually I won't say last of my priority, but if I have space, I'll throw some down. But if I don't, then I have to just say, oh well, and just deal with it pretty much. Let's see how this is going for so far. So yeah, they got a turn. You know how Saw is. And of course, since I, yeah, that was like really risky what I did. I could have died for, for, for doing this. That's extremely risky. If Taka was anywhere in the vicinity, or just anywhere in the area, he just would have, I would just got bodied. And I would be mad as hell. I, mean, I think I got bodied a few times because you know how cheesy Taka is. Like definitely Taka and Saw, is definitely like the main he's like those who are like the main noob heroes just because when you're like unrained you just start playing the game people don't don't know how to deal with saw and um and taka they don't know how to deal with them i can deal with them really efficiently if i'm just like the saw that i'm going against right now he have that mentality like yeah i got saw he's the best hero in the game when no he's definitely he's He's an extremely difficult hero, but if, if you can master Saw, you can definitely put in some work. And right here, yeah, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I was, I didn't want to get them the ace. So what I am gonna do, I want to try to, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and A for effort, I tried. But yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, I, I couldn't do anything about that. Is he still alive? I don't know. I noticed in this game, I backed a lot. I really did back a lot. But it really didn't matter because this saw, he was just feeding me. Um, he keeps dying. He's losing down on farm. So it definitely, um, no, it, there, there's, there's a, a positive balance between that. So I don't have, I have nothing to worry about. But definitely, I do want to start throwing in some Celeste in lane. I'm really, ex I mean, um, Celeste in rank. I'm really excited for that because she's she's really fun. I love her. She's an extremely fun hero. Um, definitely difficult to actually gank her because you know just her her um heliogenesis genesis whatever it's called. You know, it is it is it gives you a few seconds. It gives you a temporary scout trap. Which I think it doesn't work for Taka. I think Taka can still walk over it and he won't be visible. I couldn't really. I'm sure. I assume someone actually knows, but I couldn't really confirm. I have no idea. I, I would assume so. Because then definitely stuff would be a stronger counter towards Taka. Well, n not even a counter. Like a any immobile heroes, Taka can counter that re really well. Like he counters. Sky, he counters um, Celeste, he counters Ringo, he counters, um, he just counters a, real, a lot of those heroes, he just counters them really well. Cause he can just weave in and out of battle and just do destructive damage, just do that detrimental damage to your, your hero and you can't do nothing about it. You just have to just take it on the chin and just be like, damn. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do right here, this is what we're gonna do. Like this saw, he's just such a bonehead. 
He just, he's really such a bonehead and it's hilarious. Yeah, there goes Saul. Push, push, push. That's all he knows. <laughs> That's all he knows is push. His first word coming out the womb was push, push, push. Ah, <sighs> man. Alright, yeah, there goes Saul. About to hit the grave up again. Going, I'm going 4-0 right now, so I'm doing pretty well. My backing, yeah, I, I back so much in this in this match. I backed too much. Definitely taking unnecessary damage, but what I like to do with Celeste, um, I like to get her tier one. Uh, I like to get the tier one battery into like some crystals, and then I like to get tier two battery. But I, mean, I usually sit on that until like late game, because so I rather build armor and all that before I build like life steal. Um, yeah, that's what I like to do pretty much. And I, I usually go into Frostburn, into Broken Myth, into uh, Evil Harvest. But I'm probably going to try to mix it up and maybe do some Shatter Glass instead of Evil Harvest. But yeah, I think this has been like, really risky. I think Taka is alive. Yeah, there, yeah, there he goes. He's such a cheesy. Yeah, okay, I just confirmed right there. Like, my Heliogenesis does not uncover Taka. But again, he's such a cheesy. He's a cheesy as hero, man. He, he's, he's. Um, he's he's noob friendly, but of course, if you go if you go on a higher tier rank, higher tier rank, and you're and you have that mentality as a noob who use Taka, and you you won't get bodied. You won't get bodied because good a good counter for Taka is um is uh who was it? I think Rhyme. Rhyme is a pretty good counter. Rhyme. Can hit him if you can hit him with the basic attack or with the yeah with the auto attack I mean you can slow him down and then you can just keep it up with your um with your A. But um um wait what the hell was I talking about? Like my memory is so shot. <laughs> I got the memory of an 80 year old man. I literally forgot what I was talking about. Um Damn. Oh uh yeah but Taka he's really new prone. He's not new prone but he's like he's Noobs, they they welcome Taka and Saw with open arms. They love because he they're just Taka. He's like really gimmick. Can I say gimmicky? Because he can turn invisible. He's like the only hero that can do that. And Kestrel, but you know it's not as bad as Kestrel. Because Kestrel, you still need a skill shot. You need to actually use skill to use her efficiently. Like she takes skill to use, but like Taka. Taka, he just really noob friendly, and people in the noobs they they love him. Like I I, I cringe when I bought Taka. I didn't I didn't even want to buy that fool, but I bought him just so I can counter Sky 